don't know why they did that. But, but according to Nate, you gotta honor them. But all deceivableness of unrighteousness. All, all deceivableness of unrighteousness. Go ahead. In them that perish, uh -huh. because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So Nate is keeping his congregation away from the love of the truth so that they may be saved, man. That's wickedness. That's, that's evil. And the Lord hates an evil man. All right, Nate? And the Lord is furious with you. You done, you, you getting worse and worse, man. The Lord ain't gonna allow you to, to Keep going, man. All right. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it, says, it says, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them a strong delusion. Yeah. What's that strong delusion, man? What's that? Believing that Esau is the damn. It's a, it's a, it's a, he's that he's good. Uh, uh, honoring the damn white man. Don't speak evil against the white man, man. Speak only uh, uh, to Israelites, man. The Israelites are going, they're crackheads and they're going through all kind of, yeah, why? That's the question. Go ahead. Um, that they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie, go ahead. That they all might be dead to believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Right, and, and they, you're teaching unrighteousness by saying that you're gonna honor these damn devils, all right? And you're leading your congregation to be destroyed. You and your congregation are going to be destroyed. Give me Isaiah 9 and 16. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 16, man. You're damn right we're going to get on y'all, man. Because you're the damn wolf. Alright? We out here, the Lord, the Lord said to feed his sheep. So if we see a wolf coming, we have to let the sheep know that the wolf is lurking. And Nate, you are that lurking wolf. What? It says Isaiah 9 and 16. Uh -huh. For the leaders of this people. What? Say, read it again. For the leaders of this people. Read it one more time. For the leaders of this people. For the leaders of this people. What people? The Israelites. You saw called Negroes, West Indians, Latinos, Native American Indians. Your leaders cause you to err. Nate is a leader over the people, causing the congregation to err with his bullshit by selling out, man. Go ahead. Cause them to err. Causing them to err, saying, telling your camp leaders not to speak against a damn white man, man, out there. You're going off. Go ahead. And they that are led of them are destroyed. And, <laughs> and you break that down, brother. Right. And they that are led of them Meaning, meaning those those leaders and, and, the, and the whole congregation. Guess what's going to happen to them? They're going to be destroyed. That's right, bro. Why? Because you wanted to believe uh, in, a, lie. In, a, a lie instead of ju just like the apostles always tell us. Anything that they tell us, what do we have to do? We have to we have to search. We have to search it out ourselves, right? Because that's when you fully believe in something, and that's when you can learn your damn self, man. All right, but because of that, because you want to follow the fool, the, the Most High said, "What? Well, he's gonna allow you to be destroyed." You know. This is uh, Isaiah 62, verse six. It says, "I have set watchmen upon my walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night." Beautiful.
Keep not silent. Ye that make mention of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, keep not silent. But Nate and his leaders are telling their congregation, Shh, don't say nothing about the white man no more. If we find out you're saying anything about them, we shut you down. Shut you and your whole camp down. That's wickedness. Right, it says, and give him no rest. And give him no rest. All right? Tell these damn devils that they're the devil until they can't take it no more. They start howling and screaming and going to their leader's ears about us. I'm tired of these, these niggas and spicks being on our corner speaking against us, calling us the devil. All right? Saying that we're the devil pointing about with Can you do something about these people? See? That's where it's coming to. He's basically telling his congregation to give Esau a rest. When the scripture says we're supposed to constantly get on Esau as well as our people, but we're supposed to be up, man, I should get that next, Isaiah 13, when it tells you about the banner. We're supposed to go to Esau on the, on the highways and byways and shake the hand, not, not only to our people, the other nations as well as Esau. Right? I'll finish it up. It says, and give him no rest till he establish it and till he maketh Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Is Jerusalem a praise on this earth today? Hell no. First of all, the, the real people are not in Jerusalem right now. We are Jerusalem. We are the real Israelites. And we're not in our we're not in our place. Alright? So we Jerusalem is not getting no praise. Right now. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, that was it. Alright, yeah, you guys at 13. I'm gonna read this. Right, this is Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon which I which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Oh, that's Babylon. Yeah, and Babylon represents America. Okay. Well, and who rules America? So a white man does. So you see they you might as well, you might as well, I don't even know why you, you touching the Bible, man. Because by you saying that now you can't, this is what it's all about. Don't, you can't speak against America, you can't speak against the white man no more. I'm going to, you're doctor. Going off, man. Go ahead. Right, it says, uh, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The banner is the Bible. Okay, the Holy Bible. The high mountain is this kingdom. The mountain of part of the scriptures is the kingdom. Uh, this America is that high mountain, that great kingdom, man, that all nations once feared. Now they're not fearing so much because what? They, they got the bomb just like America got the bomb. All right? Now they're able to protect themselves. Go ahead. It says, exalt the voice unto them. How the hell are you supposed to exalt the voice unto these damn devils if you're saying that you gotta honor them and don't say nothing bad about them? Hey, you can't do it. Go ahead. Shake the hand. Shake, you're supposed to come out. You're supposed to come out here. Shake the hand. Speak against these damn devils, man. Against their establishment, their kingdom. Tell them that they are the Edomites according to the Bible. And that the most high is gonna take them out. Right? Very soon, go ahead. That they may go into the gates of the north. So we're supposed to do this so much until they get fed up with us and go into go into the gates of their nobles, their congressmen, into the House of Representatives and, and complain about us. They're, they're doing that right now by the low level. There's gonna come a point where they just can't take it anymore. But that's it's, it's gonna be the Lord's doing, because that means that it's, the time is close, very close. Go ahead. Get me, uh, get Luke, get Luke, the sixth chapter. And the 39th verse. Right, this is uh, Luke 6, 6, verse 39. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He told the disciples, he said, Can the blind lead the blind? Ask them a question. Go ahead. 
It says, shall they not both fall into the ditch? Shall they not both fall into a ditch? Because it's true. If you got two blind people walking in this ditch in front of them, they can't see it because they're blind. So they're going to keep walking until they fall into that ditch. And if that ditch is deep enough, they can die. Right? But, so Nate, you're blind, and so, are you, and so is the congregation. The ditch is, well, that fiery ditch that Esau is setting up. Okay? The most high going to cause the nations to shoot their missiles at America and totally obliterate this place. The only ones who are going to be saved is the elected people of the Heavenly Father, right? The elect of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Right, it says, The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. All right, that's good there. Uh, let me get... Because what the, the, the scriptures talk about taking the whole road, right? Does not the scriptures say that the Lord come in a volume of a book? So that means you're supposed to teach everything that's in that's in the scriptures, man. Eat the whole road. Eat, eat the whole road. You got don't so, have step. Don't have step in that. So basically, he's telling his congregation they ain't never had a whole road anyway, right? If, if you're if you're if you're accepting what. What he's, what he's saying, which is basically to not talk against Esau. When when that's that's one of our main duties, man. Like, not only to talk up, not only to talk to our people, but we're supposed to, like the scriptures say, shake the hand onto the gates of the nobles. That's a good point, brother. Let me get Proverbs 11, verse 21. This is uh, Proverbs 11, verse 1, 21. Okay. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh this is Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Nate has a false balance. Teaching the congregation to honor this damn devil, man. Not to speak against him. That's a, that's a, that's a wicked balance. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same as Saul not killing Agag and all that he had, alright? Verse verse 21. Though hand join in hand. So though so. hand join in hand because uh, in, uh, 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 in essence, that's what Nate's trying to say. I'm trying to tell his congregation, the leaders of his congregation, to hold hands with Esau. Go ahead. The wicked shall not be unpunished. So I don't care how much Nate you tell your people. To honor this damn devil, to honor the Edomites, he's still gonna be punished for the things he has done. And you, because you sold out, you're gonna be punished by the Heavenly Father. Alright, go ahead. But the seed of the righteous. The seed, who's the seed of the righteous? The election of the nation of Israel. Alright? Of the Lord's people, us, our people. Go ahead. Shall be delivered. And we shall we shall be delivered. Okay? But those that honor the damn devil, they're not going to be delivered, all right? They're going to go into condemnation, into the, the fire pit, right along with them. Why? Because you sold out. Go ahead. And you taught lies. As, as a jewel of gold, uh, as a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman with, with which is without discretion. All right, so get Proverbs 16 and 5. All these scriptures are coming at you, Nate. The, the Heavenly Father's mad and, uh, and, and fed up with you. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna meet your fate, man. But you know what? You may be reserved for the missiles, man, because what you're doing is, 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 is terrible. All right, you're, instead of lifting your people up, you're bringing them down, man. All right, go ahead. 
Proverbs 16, verse 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is everyone that is proud in heart is and as is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So that's going into Nate, man. Because you you, you know the scriptures, man. Hell yeah, you, you you beyond proud, man. Right? Because you know the scriptures and you know the scriptures speak about speaking against your enemy. That means we can't go in, that means we can speak about any other nation as being our enemy except our number one enemy. Hell, except the, the Lord's number one enemy, which are the Edomites, man. Which are you so-called white people. Alright? And because of that, I'll, I'll read the end of that verse. Though hand join in hand, though you teach a congregation to basically, basically be cool with the so-called white man, right? It says, he shall not be unpunished. All right. So anyone that, so anyone that does not speak against the so-called white man, call him out, right? Expose him for being a devil, as as the scriptures say. You're basically being at peace with him, and guess what? Your your end is going to be destruction. Right? Starting with your proud leader, Nate, the snake. Okay. All right. Because that's, I mean. We keep saying this again, it's, it, it's becoming a broken record, but you might you, 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 you might as well not even teach this anymore, man. And if you're telling your people not to, to, to omit, matter of fact, let me read this in Revelation. It says, if, yeah, here it is. This is Revelation 22 and 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So that's a, boy, that's a, that's a, you, you, you playing with fire, Nate, okay? Because you're basically telling your congregation to omit things in the scriptures, man. All right, you're basically taking things out of the scriptures. When you when you tell your congregation don't don't speak against the so-called white man, you're basically omitting or you're, you're taking out parts of the book. And the end of that, the, the, the uh, result of that is death. All right. The result of that, the result of that is is going to be your, your your demise. That's right. All right. Because the scriptures speak about speaking against the so-called white man. Right? Um, get, got your pocket for this? Yeah. Got your pocket for Get Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 12, verse 2. Right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus 12, verse 2. Do good to the goodly man. Okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Right. It says to never trust your enemy. But you can say it to someone, but you got to know who your enemy is. Right? Who's, who's the enemy to the nation of Israel? When we went back to uh, Numbers, no, I'm sorry, to... Uh, Psalms 83, the first mention of the nations to be our enemy was who? The Edomites. But who are they today? So-called white men. All right, that's the devil. It says, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. In other words, his wickedness gets worse and worse. They coming up to mandate the micro, oh, they coming to mandate the, the RFID chip, the micro chip. Trying to make everybody take that. So you're gonna say you're gonna honor him by not speaking out against it? That's how we know you sold out, Nate. And you you're gonna you're gonna get the chip, and you're gonna cause your whole congregation to get the chip too, man. Alright? You see how these scriptures are chopping that whole that, that bullshit up, man? Go ahead. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Right? Because that's how the a serpent is. Alright? Uh, read on. It says, 
And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Meaning that you know that this is the devil. You know that that he is guilty from everything they have done in the past to our people, man. Wipe as as though you wipe the looking glass and we see right through him. We know we know our enemy. Alright, go ahead. It says Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee. Right, set him not by thee. Do not honor him. It goes hand in hand. Go ahead. Uh, lest when he, when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked. Therewith. And that happened in the middle, uh, the medieval times, when Jake was ruling the medieval times, right? And they had Esau as servants. After a while, Esau took over, man. But that was done by the spirit of the Lord. And then Jake was taken down. Okay, that's what the scriptures mean when he was that that that, that uh, Satan was loose for a little season, for a period of a thousand years, man. All right, go ahead. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So, so Nate is trying to charm Esau by trying to trying to tell his congregation to honor him, not to speak evilly. He's trying to charm him. Why? Because Esau paid him off. He took a bribe, man. But so so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. So Nate, you're about to fall. You thinking that money they gave you, you sold out? You think they're gonna uphold you when the shit hits the fan? Hell no. They're gonna turn against you, man. <laughs> All right, they're gonna turn against you. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee in a pit. So Nate. That pit is your destruction. Your congregation are gonna go into that destruction with you, man. Because you believe a lie. Alright? Go ahead. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Right, and Esau's coming to shed blood. Alright? Esau's coming to devour your, your congregation, Nate. Alright? So let's get on that. Get, get, um, shit, get over that. A general or something over Egypt, and he got all the Arab nations together against the Edomites. 
Alright? Because they knew when they got into our land that those were the enemy, man. And since they've been in our land, they've been warring against them ever since. Ever since, man. So here it is, the other nations know that he's a damn devil, but you're supposed to, we're supposed to, the, the heathen, Ishmael, the Arabs, they don't honor him, they, they bowing the hell out of them. But we're supposed to honor him? You think you're a damn fool, Nate. All right, go ahead. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Talking about America and the Edomites that control America here. The Lord made you small because he gave the other nations the bomb. All right? A uh, thermonuclear missile capability. Okay? Go ahead. The pride of thy heart hath deceived So the devils over here in America are more proud than any, any devil in the, in the whole wide world. There's other Edomite nations that hate these, even these devils over here. Hell, his own people don't honor him, him over here in America, man. Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the... Sorry, it says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Right, so that's, that's, that's the Lord speaking to Obadiah, speaking to the so-called white man. That your pride has deceived you. Okay, yeah, your military is strong, your military might. Your Air Force, your, your Navy, your Marines, your this, your that. But you're, you're deceived in all that power you got because it was the Lord that gave you that power. Just like he gave the power to Pharaoh. In turn only to destroy Pharaoh and all his power and all his military. Before our eyes. Okay? Go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Thou that dwellest in the clefts, in the caves of the rock. Cavemen. Who did that? So-called white man did. There's plenty of proof of that. You can Google that right now. All right? Go ahead. Whose habitation is high. Whose habitation is high. If I was to take the camera and pan right now, we're over here. We're, we're right before, uh, close to the uh, Master Square Garden. That's high. You got a damn skyscraper right, right to the side of us, right in front of us. And they look like modern day caves, man. All right, so don't, don't, don't give me that bullshit that, the, that this is not the devil that the Bible speaks of. The reason why they build these skyscrapers is to remind them of how they used to live up in the caves of the Caucasus Mountain and in their own country, the land of Edom. Right? Yeah, Google Petra, and you will see a carving into a damn rock, and it looks like a like Roman architecture, man. And that was where the Edomites dwelt. All right, go ahead. That said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So the damn devil over here in America are proud of They believe that America is going to keep on going forever and ever. They're going to conquer all the other nations and take their resources and take what they got. That's what they believe. All right? But they're sadly mistaken. Go ahead. Though, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So, just like it says in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, he's the one that exalted himself as the eagle. His space mission in 1969, when they so-called said they landed on the moon, when they came back, they said that, uh, no, when they so-called landed on the moon, they said what? The eagle has landed. So don't tell me that's not a prophecy on the so-called white man. Go ahead. And, and though thou set thy nest, among the stars, we you're supposed to come out here and and match this prophecy with with the so-called white man. We, we're supposed to tell our people that. But how can you communicate that according to what Nate is saying? He's saying don't do that. But because it goes back to the wicked scribes and Pharisees when they said that that they keep on letting Yahweh Shai and the disciples keep on preaching that the Romans were going to take their place. I'm, I'm going to get that. Go ahead. So Nate don't want to lose his position that Esau has given him. He must have gave Nate a whole lot of money, man, to sell up. Yeah. And, then, and then he told his congregation if he sees anybody talking against Esau, 
guess what? That that camp is gonna be shut down. Shut down. So that's some serious. So he he's, he's real serious about that. Uh, his, his his little decree, which is totally against uh, against the scriptures, man. So if you need a, if you need if you need a proof that this dude Nick man is sold out and that he's being told what to, what not to and what to do, there you go, man. That's the proof right there. Because that, he, and he's sounding more and more like a damn church that you see here, here in the streets. Because in the churches, with that charter, they're told what to and what, to, and what not to say. And what to speak about. They can't speak about uh, 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 against the government. You, you can't speak about the last days. You can't speak about the coming of the Lord. And here it is, all he wants his congregation to focus on is, is Israel. Just focus on Israel, teach about Israel. That's that's only that's not even half the thing, my man. There's, there's, there's still prophecies about Esau that haven't come to pass yet. That our people need to know about. Let me get St. John chapter 11, verse 48. We're, we're going to tell you why Nate and, and, and he told his men to say, teach that man to honor Esau and go speak against them man and it's because they've been paid off and sold out and they don't want to lose their position right they don't want to lose that money coming in um, St. John 11 and 47 it says then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said what do what do we for this man doth many miracles. If we let him, if we let They knew that that was the Messiah. They knew that Yahweh was the son of the Heavenly Father. But they were so damn wicked, they were like, well, damn, what, the, what are we gonna do, man? How are we gonna stop this? But if we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. See? So our, their place meaning because they were set as the leaders over the nation of Israel, they were receiving benefits from the Romans, and which part of that was money and power positions, man. All right? So they didn't want to lose all that. They didn't care that that was the son of the heavenly father or not. They didn't want to lose their position. So that's what Nate is doing. You know, Nate, you gotta be one of those wicked, one of those wicked scribes. Uh, Sadducees or, 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 or Pharisees, man, from back then. You gotta be. Alright, go ahead. It says, and one of them named Caiaphas, uh -huh. being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Know ye nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people. And the whole, and that the whole nation perish not. And that was that's not even in the law, not right there. That was their own set of of of, of bullshit, traditional men they had set up. That was not in the law. That one man supposed to be released and all that. Uh, so I drop that. Let's go back to overtime. Look, Nate, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna speak against this damn devil. All right. We're gonna keep on prophesying against this damn devil, this white man, his establishment, his kingdom of America. We're gonna keep on doing that until our Lord comes to deliver us out of here and destroy this place. That's what we're gonna do. We were given commandments to do that. Uh, verse four, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So Esau, the so-called white man, though they had it, their space programs and all that, put his satellites up in the skies, came up with all this technology, right? Good. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, put his satellites up in the skies, orbiting the earth, but then shall I bring thee down, said the Lord. The Lord so at the time they did that till now, the Lord been bringing down these, these proud ass devils over here in America, man. All right? They don't got that power, that strength anymore. Especially financially. The other, uh, China's economy is stronger than America's now. Russia's economy is stronger. All right? But if thieves came to, to thee, 
if thieves came to thee, uh -huh. if robbers by now, by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had had enough? Right, the Lord is saying, speaking, speaking against Esau. He said, look, if thieves came to thee, robbers by night, when they just take until they're satisfied, the Lord is saying, when I come, I'm gonna take all your shit. I'm gonna totally destroy you. That's what the Lord is saying. Go ahead. If, if the great gatherers came to thee, they would not leave some, would, would they not leave some grapes? Go ahead. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are, how are his hidden things sought out? Yeah, the Lord is saying in essence, when he comes, he comes to totally obliterate uh, Esau and everything he got, everything he owns over here in America, man, in Babylon the Great. But all the men of thy confederacy. And said, how are the hidden things that Esau searched up? That's what we're doing. We find it, we found we found out about the Illuminati. We found out that they worship Satan. We found out that they are the, the right? Like I said the Thessalonians, that 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 uh, the man of sin, until that man sin is revealed, he's been revealed, and now we're teaching it to our congregation, to our people. We're not keep, keeping that hidden. This is the time to let the truth flow, right? Fill the streets, fill the world with truth, man. The rivers of living water. And the Thessalonians have said, through the spirit of the Lord's mouth, he destroyed this man. It begins with us. Spiritually, we're destroying this man. At the end, it will be physically when our Lord comes back with his holy angel. Go ahead. All the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border. All the men of that confederacy, Esau, have brought thee even to the border. Meaning all those that you were cool with have now they're coming, they're coming against you. Bringing you into war. And that's happening with this, this damn devil Trump. We're hoping like hell that Trump is the one that the Lord is using to bring in this third, this, this third world's war, man. Because he's causing a lot of shit to happen. All right, go ahead. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. They deceived thee, Esau. Yeah, they took your money. They they made business with you. But now that they see you falling, they're like, fuck you, man. Because they remember the shit that you have done to them. Here is Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When you drop fat man and little boy on their ass, you think the Japanese don't remember that shit? Yeah, they cool with you now. You can go and send your representatives over there, speak to them, and they cool, la la la, you know? But in their heart, they remember, man, what you did. And they see, they, every day they seek vengeance, man. But they know that you got that power, it ain't time yet. But It says, and prevailed against thee, that they that eat thy bread have laid a wound see, under thee. They that eat your bread, meaning your money. You paid off a lot of people. Right? So that they could be friends with you. Because they know, you know that they know that you're a damn temple. The only one who don't know is Nate. No, Nate knows he's just being a damn serpent. Alright? Because Nate is one of those people that received that bread. Received payment. Took the bride. Alright, go ahead. There is none understanding in him. Shall, shall. There ain't no understanding of Esau, man. Esau's a carnal man. He's not spiritual. Therefore, you're, you are not to honor him. It's simple, man. Damn. Go ahead. Shall I not in that day, say the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? So the Lord said in that day, should he destroy the wise men out of Edom? The wise men out of Edom are the same ones we read to you in the book of Psalms 83. Okay? The ones that are praying day in and day out against us so that we don't be a nation. The Illuminati. So-called Jews. And the, uh, the elites of them. The Rothschilds, right? The top, top banking families, man. That control this world. Make laws and break laws. Destroy nations at will, man. Destroy a nation's economy. That's what's happening in Venezuela right now. You mean to tell me these devils got all, all the money they got, okay? 
they can't go and pump some money into that country, man, and help them out? No, they, and they won't because one, they know those are Israelites. Two, they already, they already probably made the money that they wanted to make out of that, that country, man. So they probably drained them of all their resources and now they, they are leading them to let them fight against each other and destroy one another. All right, that's how this damn devil operates. Okay, he's like a freaking vampire. He's a, a fucking leech. Cancer. All right, go ahead. It says, Shall I not in that day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? Right, because at one time they thought that the Messiah was with them. All the shit they did to us, the slavery, the conquering of our people, the conquering of the other nations, they thought their economy was strong, the U.S. dollar was strong, they had the world's toughest military, but now that's all being decimated, weakened. All right, go ahead. Oh, and the mighty men, O oh, demon, and thy mighty men, O oh, demon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Oh. Team in today will be your Germans. That's why as far as all, uh, 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 we got German engineering, okay? Their cars, when it comes to cars, they got the best cars. But their technology is better than the other Edomites, better than the American Edomite, and the other Edomites around the world, okay? But not only that, the Illuminati was first founded by Adam Weishaupt in Bavaria, Germany. That was the beginning of the Illuminati. Then they brought it, then you had, uh, uh, then they brought it over here. Okay? Go ahead. It says, uh, uh, with Albert Pike. Albert Pike, he wrote that book, Moral and Dog. And in that book, he mentioned, I forgot which page, you can look it up. That's why you got Google. Look up Albert Pike, and he made a statement. He said, the term in God we trust on your dollar bill, that God represents Satan. All right? So you go ahead and, and, and trust in this bullshit kingdom if you want to, but the Heavenly Father is coming to destroy it. Just like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with fire. Go ahead. It says, And thy mighty men, O demon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the amount of Esau... So the mighty men of Timon would be the elites of the society, the, the Rothschilds, the top banking families of the of, of uh, Esau, of these Edomites. And he said that every one of them are going to be destroyed. So, so with that being said, Nate, you still telling your congregation to honor them? Honor our people that the Lord's going to destroy? You're, 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 you're a dumbass. Go ahead. For the violence, you're a fool. That's what you are. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. The Lord's telling you right there that this damn devil, they, they did violence to our people, man. They still are in the streets. Cut our people left and cut our people off left and right. And you want to honor this damn devil? You don't want to throw devil bombs at him? No, we're going to throw devil bombs at you, Nate. You're a devil. You and, and your wicked ass leaders that you got underneath you. You're cool. Alright, go ahead. And thou shalt be cut off forever. The Lord's going to cut off these damn devils forever. We are, we're supposed to come out here in the streets. Tell these damn devils what's going to happen to them. And then teach our people that what's going to happen to them. What the hell are you talking about? Go ahead. In the, in the day that thou stoodest <coughs> on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces. Yeah, that happened when Nebuchadnezzar came in to conquer, our, to conquer us, man. And you helped them out. You're supposed to be our brother, man. You helped them out. So the so-called white man is a traitor and a devil to boot. Go ahead. And foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was one of them. Yeah. But, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother 
in the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Yeah, you should have helped us out. Nope, you're the damn devil. You had that perpetual hatred going back to when you, when our forefather Jacob supplanted uh, your forefather Esau and you gave up your birthright. That's the struggle that's going on, see? That's that hatred between us and them. It's spiritual, right? This is not a color thing, black and white thing, man. It's a spiritual thing. Two nations that were in their mother's womb that were gonna fight against one another all the way to the end of the world, man. All right, a spiritual battle. But there's an end to that battle. There was a beginning to that battle, now there's an end. I want you to get that in our pocket. Yeah. It says, Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of the calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of the calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of the calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his of his that did escape. So there were there were some Jakes that were trying to escape but when when never because when you go into the history of, of the Babylonians and Nebuchadnezzar and their military tactics that they used to do when they when it went against an enemy, it was horrific, man. What they used to do, torture, you name it, man. It was horrific. And that's what they did to our people and Esau saw it and laughed, man. So fuck these damn doubles, man. All right, they ain't never right. They ain't never be right. They will never be right, man. All right? So, fuck you, Nate, about honoring this damn devil. It says, Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. That's our enemy. The so-called white man is our enemy, man. And we are to teach our people that they are our enemy. All right? Go ahead. For the day of the Lord you is... Got a little, a little, you got a little five-year-old son, and he's able to comprehend. You teach your son that the damn white man is, is our enemy, okay? I got two sons. I teach them. Brothers don't see my sons, all right? And they know who the, who the hell their enemy is, okay? That's what you're supposed to do. Go ahead. It says, for, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. So payback is coming. You gotta let him, let them know. <coughs> payback is coming for them, man. All right, go ahead. It says, Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. I'm sorry. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Payback. Go ahead. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. That don't sound like honor to me. That don't, that don't sound like the most high honoring these, these, these damn devils, man. Right? The Lord is saying, pay back unto them. Go ahead. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so, so shall all the heathen drink continually. The holy mountain is us, the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. You are the Heavenly Father's holy mountain, and the way that the Edomites, the so-called white men, drank from us, was by putting us in slavery, making us build up his kingdom, all right? Only to give us the shit end of the stick. All right, go ahead. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. So you're going to drink of slavery, you're gonna, of everything you did to us, Esau, you're going to pay for it. And then it's going to be as though you had not been, because you're going to be, it's going to be a day in our, in our holy kingdom, after you serve us for a period of a thousand years, where well, we're gonna burn your asses up. If I can tell you how about show me how we shot for that. It's gonna be a, a great, a, a great day. But it said, verse 17, but upon Zion shall be deliverance. Zion is the Heavenly Father's people. We are Zion, the Heavenly Father's monument. Every time he looks down and sees us, oh, that's my people. These are my people that I told my servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that no matter what, I will, I will, I will bless these people for their sake, man. 
and the Lord doesn't go back on his word. Alright? But and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We're gonna possess the land of Esau. We're gonna possess. It used to be well the land of Esau would be uh the land of Edom would be south of the, the land of Judah or Israel. Okay, we're gonna possess all of that. Hell, we're gonna possess the whole planet. Hell, we're gonna possess the whole galaxy, man. And and more. The Lord said in my father's house, there's many mansions. Mansions. If we if it were not so, I would have told you. Okay. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, along with Ephraim and the other land, uh, the other tribes, we're gonna come together in that day and burn these damn devils up. How's that, Nate, for honor? It is honor. We're honoring the, the name of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Alright? That's who you are to honor. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall none be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. And, and that's it. They're the only nation in the scriptures that received total annihilation. That's how, that's how much hatred the Lord got against these devils. And, they, and you're going to say, to honor them? Come on, man. That's blasphemy, man. All right, so what else we got? So let's go. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're going to end it out there. All right, this is uh, 2 Ezra 6, verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall the end be? <laughs> when shall be the end of the first? So now, then the disciples asked this to our Lord. They wanted to know when the end was going to be. And also went him to say, when, when was, when, when was Yahusha going to restore the kingdom back to Israel? Because that's all it's about. The power back to Israel, not to Esau. This was his kingdom. But when and or when shall the end when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? And he answered unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. So you gotta, you gotta start from the beginning to get the full story of what's happening today. I don't give a shit what the so-called white man has done, what so-called accomplishments, uh, his technology, airplanes and TVs and cell phones and bullshit. Cars, space, space, space missions. I don't give a shit. This still stands. All right. But uh, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. So it's taking it, taking you back to the beginning, on how the struggle came to be of these two nations, man. But For in order to understand the end of a matter, you must know to understand the beginning of a matter. Alright? And if the damn white man was a devil from the beginning, well god damn it, he's a devil now. Go ahead, read it. Or Esau is the end of the world. Esau, you gotta know who Esau is. Esau are these so-called white people today. They are our enemy. I don't give, I don't care what you say. Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Jacob, we are Jacob. So-called Negroes, West Indians, Latinos, Native American Indians. Scattered throughout North, Central, South America, and throughout the world, man. And we are to go out into the highways and byways and teach this to our people. All right, go ahead. It says, the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. That was, that's like a time period. All right, go ahead. Other questions, answers, ask thou not. So, and that's it. All right, and so with that, we're gonna say, uh, death to Esau, death to the other nations, man. Kum uh, Allah, and death to you false prophets, man, who are teaching against the word of our Lord, man. Death to you and your congregation. All 
Alright? Shalom to the elect of Yasha'am. 